Ever since I built my plow tractor, I've had a lot of people request if I would do an independent how-to on the wiring for it. So today we're going to cover that. We've got our kill switch here. We've got our voltage rectifier toggle switch here. We've got our throttle. We've got our choke. And then down here we've got our push button start. And we've got a starter issue we're replacing in another video, so we'll see how this goes. So we're going to put down our clutch. Coil kill. Charging circuit, rectifier kill. And then we'll put that in the start position so that we don't have to fight with it next time. Now, over here, we've got a brand new engine. So, if all you're doing is just hooking this up and you're just going to use this, all you have to do is hook up positive to a battery here and you hook up one of these to your negative and you're up and running. Please do not use one of the case bolts back here. That's a bad idea. This is what decides whether your oil stays in this thing or not. Don't use those. Always use a shroud bolt if possible. But if you want to wire it up like this, then things get a lot more complicated, but not overly complicated. One of the first things to go and argue with on one of these is that the carburetor in underneath here is a servo controlled, solenoid controlled carburetor. Sorry, solenoid, not servo. So when this has 12 volts going to it and a ground on the other side, it pulls a pin back and it allows gas to go through the carburetor. Good old fashioned California, whatever. And yes, this is the wrong carburetor. This is for a Briggs and Stratton V twin, but it's the same exact concept as the carburetor that's in this. So down here, we have that voltage. This orange here, it does not matter which one is positive and it doesn't matter which one is ground. This is what you need to have in order to trigger this. You can just unscrew this and pop the pin out of these and then put it back in and that removes all the Californications out of it. Now, we've got the orange figured out. Let's move on to the next part of this. Now, remember we had an independent charging switch right there. That independent switch is because of this setup. These two brown wires here convert over to two green wires here. The green wires connect right here. This other wire is a ground, and this is your charging wire. But if you look at the charging wire right here, and the primary voltage lead wire, it's the same exact white wire. That's because on this, when you turn this to the run position, it jumps that red to this white. So if you go to set this up on an independent setup, you have to have a toggle switch in between this white and this red wire right here coming out of the rectifier. And the reason for that is because if you don't do it, this will always pull voltage and after about a month, it'll kill your battery in the unit. Next, we're going to have our exciter right here, which is a black and a white wire. And so this, if you give it 12 volts on a push button, so on my push button that's on the dash right here from the positive side of this to there and then from there I go to the starter and that would connect to this black and white wire. So we have our toggle switch that goes between this white wire and this red wire and then on this side of the toggle switch we tee off from there, we put a push button, and that goes to this wire here. The other thing we're going to have is 
And we're going to have a kill wire circuit, which is this circuit right here. And I don't know why it has four wires on one side and two wires on the other side, because literally the only wire that matters is the black and orange wire. If you connect this black and orange wire to a toggle switch, toggle switch, and you have to rotate a kill switch like that with the red hood, you have to rotate it 180 degrees inside the setup. So if you connect it to a toggle switch and you connect this to one side of the toggle and you connect the other side of the toggle to a ground to the engine, every time the circuit is closed, it will kill the coils. Every time the circuit is open, it will let this run and the spark plugs will produce spark. So the black and orange wire is your kill wire on this. And you just put it on a toggle switch. Otherwise than that, that is the harness as we see it here. For the Curiosity people, this yellow wire here is your oil sensing wire in order to be able to kill the engine and that does not matter there's no you don't have to have that connected or anything it will run perfectly fine without it and there's your setup so now we've got to get a starter installed on that and that'll be the next video